today's guest is Nevena Ristic. She has a blog called American Dream or Američki Sun. Actually, that's in Serbian. And it's really a pleasure to have you today. Thank you. It's really a pleasure to be your guest. So walk us through your blog. Tell us what you do. Just go a couple of sentences. I'm going to have a lot of questions for you coming. So <laughs> I came in for all, all your questions. So I started my blog, American Dream. I mean, Američki San on Serbian. Uh, so I can help people who understand Serbia. So that's more than Serbian people. Uh, so they can have more information how to adjust to their American life here. Because when I came here, I didn't know anything. And before I came here, I thought I know everything. So I just want to uh, make sure other people don't struggle with the things that I did. So um, are you still struggling with all of that or? <laughs> well, there's still a couple, a couple of things that I didn't realize how it works, like health insurance. But I think nobody knows that. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot, a lot of things you, you learn on the way. You, you encountered all the problems. And I mean, it's not easy to try to fix all of them. I mean, you're trying to find mm -hmm. someone and like you to help other people to figure out their problems. You know, some people figure their problems out and they don't want to share that information. And it's priceless because it's a lot, a lot of things, a lot, a lot of things we encounter every day. What's, uh, how do you get the idea to start your blog? Well, <laughs> like I told you, like, I just want to try to help other people, like, uh, giving them information because like you said nobody want to share them especially americans they're like whatever you want whatever you do <laughs> something like that so they never tell you everything and uh, near me there wasn't any people who want to share something so i explore everything and then i share you you felt the need to help other people you know we always think i'm trying to Think about, okay, what have I done last couple of years? Maybe I should have done this thing differently. Maybe, you know, if I had the advice at that time, maybe if I told myself like a couple of years ago, maybe you should have done this differently. Is there any advice in particular you would give to yourself? Maybe like four, <laughs> four years ago, five years ago when you came here? <laughs> ask for help <laughs> ask for help <laughs> yes definitely ask everybody because like if you ask more people they will learn something but if you ask only one usually it's going to be no answers so we have to ask like a lot that. of people you know, it's not easy to ask for help and it's not easy to get help sometimes you know, so you're, you're trying to you're trying to work on the, fixing those problems I see you know it's a lot of how how long how long does it take to do all the research that you're doing it is long, long way, but usually, like when people ask me something, I start researching, and as soon as I have a lot enough information to to put it in a blog, I have it done. Like today, I just uh, release one new blog post, and it's gonna help a lot of people. It's what is it about? How to <laughs> how to come to America? How to come to America? That's the one of the hardest things these days. Some people can't even leave. <laughs> yes, that, that's a really interesting question. But uh, I reach out to agencies who work uh, in programs who, that uh, help people come to America. Mm -hmm. So they explain me everything, how it works, how much does it cost, and what they what the people get if they come through them, and what are their opportunities for for later. So I'm really ha happy to have all that information served in just one blog post. You felt any, there is not a lot of information online or how do you decide to find the best information? Is it a, people can look up on for themselves or are you trying to just summarize everything and make it easier for them? I try to summarize everything because uh, during these four years, since I'm, I'm here, I learned, I hear so many stories and everybody told their story. There's so much different things and there's always something nobody knows. It's like, I didn't know everything is so different. <laughs> The people have different, different. Uh, they have a different picture when they're in back in Serbia. They come here. I mean, both of us also. You know, it's it's a different thing. You come here, you think everything's gonna be resolved, things gonna work out by themselves, but there there isn't. You know, and it's not a lot of help, and it's it's a lot. Of, it's hard to find help, and it's even hard to find time. Find time. It's hard to find time to help someone. You know, some people you maybe want to find time, but it's not easy. You, know, you try to be, oh yeah, sure, let me help you out, but it's not easy. 
And I mean, your blog is it's a lot of good information, a lot of a lot of a lot of things, and you're trying to extend that and get more and more. You're trying to do ebook, if I'm not mistaken. Mm-hmm. Yes, thank you. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so now I'm writing a ebook uh, that's gonna have answers on all other questions I got, and it can be in the one blog post because there are so many things. Like I wanna uh, have something like manual, what to do when you came to uh, USA. Uh, because I really heard so much different stories. Like I know people who came here uh, have a job, have, uh, have the apartment set up for them, everything. But still, when they came, it's like, okay, I don't know how to turn on the lights or things like like basic things. And also, like I heard uh, heard story of a guy who came here to PhD studies and. Uh, when he came, the same thing, like he came to the college, it was college station here in Houston. Mm-hmm. So when he came, nobody uh, was waiting for him. So he slept on the, on the, on the floor, <laughs> waiting for a morning to somebody find him and he couldn't like uh, talk to his uh, family and everything. So it was really like, what to do now? So it's really hard because everybody when came here, have some hard story to share. And now I want to, Share all the stories in a one book. Oh, so it's it's gonna be a collection of stories or and a manual also or a mix of both or it's gonna be the how to avoid hard things. <laughs> you can never avoid all the hard things, but at least <laughs> at least avoid some of them. Yeah, some of them. Like don't do that and don't do this. How hard or is to explain? This. How hard is it to explain someone that's coming here? You know, they cannot comprehend the fact everything you're telling them, you know, that's not, okay, do this, do, you know, it's different when you come here. Uh, definitely it's hard. And uh, people usually don't listen to you when they are back home, but at least they will have something with them. And they can, okay, now I can listen. Now I remember that girl that wrote that thing. Let, let me open it. Let me, let me see what she's saying over here. <laughs> yes, I heard from so many people, like, it was so different. Like, we, we were here, here in the U.S., like, tourists. And then when we came to live, it's like, we know everything. And they're like, no, we didn't know anything. <laughs> so it's really different. It's a, the, the, uh, do people talk? I mean, a lot of people trying to invade, invade their emotions and stuff. You know, the people talk about how is it not being back home and being here for so many years? Do you touch those okay. subjects when you talk to them? <laughs> That's a really hard story. Actually, I heard uh, about a lot of people who didn't come back home for 25 years or something. And... <laughs> I that's really a lot. Understand. That's a long time. I really don't understand that uh, with like from emotional point. But uh, if you if you are thinking about like uh, not having a visa or your status or how much does it cost to go back home, I understand. So it's really like roller coaster. <laughs> hey, everything in life is like that, but you, know, it's, you can't even explain those things. You know, people think it's better over there. Then you come here, then you think it's better over there. Back home. You're trying to escape yourself. It's not easy to run. You can't run away from yourself. That's yes, that's really. A, I like, like you said, it. Like you can run, run away from yourself. You can try, you but came, it, but you, no. you get caught up. <laughs> no, when you came here, you're never the same person. I, I'm sure about that. Like you're always in the wild. Like should I stay or should I go or something like that? And always like comparing yourself here and there. What is always be. in the always in the limbo? Do you? Do you think it's mentality changes when you come here or just people change or they don't change? Or what's your, what's your opinion well, on that? It's definitely uh, like you open your eyes and you realize so many other things. Like, for example, if you think about America, it's like, I don't know, everything is pinky here. <laughs> Whatever, like everybody's waiting You're for you to You're saying it's come. not? It's different. It's definitely <laughs> different. Nobody here like... Don't ruin like people's that. dreams. <laughs> let them let them dream let them dream, let them dream for them for themselves no the thing is like you really can do a lot of things here and uh, there is a pathway to achieve all of your dreams but you have, first when you came you can stay stand stay relax <laughs> breathe and then realize what you want to do i mean it's, uh, did, did you know anything before you came here do you know someone or you just just showed up and then figure your things out <laughs> It's a good question. I did know a lot of people here, but they came uh, they came as a student, like professional players, social, 
Soccer. They came <laughs> soccer and volleyball and uh, tennis, and that's it, I think. And yeah, and uh, but their stories are totally different. They came here when they were younger. They came here when they was eighteen or, or nineteen years old. So it's totally different, different uh, point of view. When you came here with a family, that's totally different point of view. And also, when you came by yourself, it's totally switch. So it's did, really different. Did, did they transition to becoming Americans full time, or they're <laughs> they're definitely more American than I am? I mean, they they've been here longer, you know. But do they feel their, their families? Do they feel like American American when you see them, or how that works? It depends. It really depends. Like, for example, if I'm thinking about three of my friends who came here, like one friend actually go back to Europe after after school, so she's like escaped from being American. One friend and other two friends who stayed actually American. You're saying people are escaping American dream? That's still happening? Yeah. But she actually tried to, tried to come again and uh, stay here, but... Uh, there is no pathway. No, it's really hard. But she's, I mean, where is she now? In somewhere in Europe or she's back home in back home in Serbia. Oh, yeah. I mean, but she, she went to Europe to play professional because she couldn't play here professional. So it's, it's such a thing. Now, how do you feel when you meet those people? They're, for example, they're successful or they are. You feel they're happy or they're whatever content with themselves or lives. You need more people like that, or you need more people that are they're let's see different. They're not <laughs> not like that. It's really different. Like it all depends what you want from your life and what is your goal. So there are people that, that are happy happy. But I can tell like people who travel more are definitely more happy and people who are like stuck in their jobs and like trying to reach some more money, things like that. I, I don't see they are really happy. So it's that's the point. Yeah. Here in America, everybody want to like have more, more, more money, bigger house, uh, more new car, things like you that. Know, you know, it never, never ends. You never ends. I don't know, probably you wrote about this, but you know, you know how expenses are here. You know, you end up making a certain amount of money, and when you cut your expenses, you end up the same. You know, you spend all of it, all of it if you want to live halfway decent. Then if you want to yeah. live good, it takes years until you get there. You know? if we come here, we expect things to happen in a year or two. But it takes a lot of time, <laughs> a lot of time, a lot of, a lot of things to learn. At least five. five. At least five. Years, so I think yeah. five is five is the number. Yeah, I, I, think I can five agree with that. One first, like step, whatever. So, so after five years, you can, you know, like see where, where are you now. So after five years, you need to recollect after five years. You know, but what, what's a let's say you meet someone. Anyone, I say they come in here to me. Okay, you're doing the blog. Okay, give me a couple of advices. Just out of the bat, just give me a couple of advices. Tell me something. <laughs> don't tell me, I don't want to read the whole blog. You know, we like things in a couple of minutes in this country and everywhere right now. We don't want to read too much. Give us a couple, a couple of minutes. What should we do? Pay attention don't to something. Don't forget who you are. <laughs> That's the first thing. And bring your best self. Bring your best self. And what else? Give me advice. Something. What I should? What should I do? Always ask for questions. Uh, sorry. Always, ask, always help. ask for help. Yes. Do, do people always help you? They're helpful. They want to help, or they should look up your some blog. Of them, and find yes, some but a lot of people know. But still, if you ask more people, you will get some help. I heard a lot of story like people being helped by church or things like that. Like there, there are institutions that want to help you. So it all depends what kind of help you want. Usually people will think of help like money help, money type of help. It can be like there is also people who want to help you. And especially here in America, everybody, I mean, not everybody, but almost everybody is from somewhere and they, are, they were starting, they were on your point. So they want to help you, really. So is there, a, you interview some people, tell me some interesting stories or interesting people you met that you're like, oh my God, wow, this is, this is, this is why I came here. This is how things are supposed to be. <laughs> oh, you got me in the wrong, <laughs> the wrong point, point of life. Well, the thing, the, the most beautiful thing I like here in America is that you can change everything. Like if you don't like something, you can change it. Like if you don't like your city, you can move to another city. I can if you move don't to like your, 
yes, like if you don't like uh, your job, you can change it. Like if you don't like your career, you can change it. So that that's the for me especially because I really love changes. So it's it's the best thing here. So interesting stories. There's a lot of the different stories, but I don't know how to pick just one right now. <laughs> but it, the, the important thing is that there is some. You know, it's not easy to find them. Sometimes you think all this lost. You know, people look super happy on Instagram. You know, everyone's super happy. You know, I we, we all wish life is like Instagram. That would that would be really nice. You know, but 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 it's not. It all looks shiny. I remember I post a couple of pictures. You know. So from time to time, and my friend was like, "Oh man, I check your how are you? I check your Instagram. You look you look like you're doing really good." At that point, I was not doing that great, but anyhow, my Instagram looked good. So he just automatically assumed that he was like a nice guy. He just assumed I was like, no one's gonna post anything bad on it. You know? Yeah, that's, that's true. Are you are you still that's adapting? True. You know, to become an American, or is it uh, uh, adapting? Uh, yes, <laughs> a long yes. process. <laughs> It is one process, especially with me, because I don't want to adopt everything. Like, there's so many things I don't like, and I don't want to adopt them. But I respect them because I'm here and I have to respect them. Like, there's so many rules, and there's all the things you have to do in a certain way, but sometimes you can avoid them or not. What do you think is better? What do you like more? When you're just like, okay, we have this here, but we don't have it back home, or something like that. Actually, I love having rules some of them not all of them uh organization is the first thing i love here and uh, the the other thing is that people are not complaining about anything besides weather so if they are complaining that is weather and that, that there is stuff back home everybody is complaining about everything and everybody so that that's the first thing yeah that's the i always always when i talk to someone there Oh, how's that city? It doesn't matter where they're from. Oh, great city, great food. That's the number one <laughs> America. And I was like, is there anything else in this country besides? Good? I don't. I don't think I met someone that says, okay, that city is shitty. It's not good. Food is sucks. No one. Any every city is great, and every city has great food. And yeah. it stops there. There's no more like, okay, you can do this and that. It just great city, great food. So that, that, that's it. And and uh, if they're describing, like, how was it, I don't know, on some concert or some trip, whatever, it was fun. <laughs> Stop. Nothing yeah, else. That's, that's, <laughs> how's it, I mean, it, it takes a lot of time to write a blog and we spend a lot of time on it, you know, whatever is doing anything, any kind of writing or any kind of thing, you know, it takes a lot of time. How do you manage your time between being a full-time mom and, and doing a blog? How hard is that? <laughs> Ah, uh, well, I really uh, think that if you love something, uh, you will find a way and the time, of course. So whenever I can, like my all my free time goes there. Like, so that's it. Like I'm trying my and best. One of the things will... are, sorry, go go ahead. Every time when I find some time, I'm doing it with my blog. <laughs> so how is that? Uh, is that what gets you out of the bed in the morning, or how? What's your what's your trigger? How do you like sometimes when you don't want to get up? How do you get up? Like, okay, I have to do <laughs> this and that. Right now, I'm actually getting up at five or six. It all depends. So I can uh, write my blog and after then go to school, virtual school with my daughter. So it's really a good question. Right now, it's like that. If she go back to school, I will have that time for me. How do you how do you adapting? How is she adapting to all, to all of that? She's doing fine, really good. Fun. Maybe she's going to be virtual <laughs> soon. She likes being home more, I guess. Well, she definitely miss um, missing being with other kids in, during all this pandemic. She didn't spend so much time with friends, so it's going to be better for her to go back to school. But a lot of people are at, a lot of people are at home right now, you know, and everyone wants to start doing something, and they should find something quality to you know, spend their time on. You don't want to be just Netflix or whatever you want to do. In your free time, you know, and so you someone wants to start a blog. What's your advice? How should they do it, and why should they do it if they have a need or feel need for it? Well, if they have anything to tell, and everybody has something to tell, if you have some specific subject, whatever, just start it. Like and write, 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 and when you write so many articles, you will you will find your way. So you just need you to write. Is it, is it difficult? Is it difficult? Well, it all depends. <laughs> it all depends. <laughs> I always write a long, long uh, post, 
like usually two thousand of characters, so it's a, like long stories, and it took people ten to twenty minutes to read it and try to you know have some so many information, but you actually can write a fifth five hundred uh, characters. And that's usually enough <laughs> to tell whatever yeah, you want to do. So people have you know hard time to keep their attention to certain thing for a long, a long time. So you got to have something short, that's something like really, really catchy. Is there something you're writing and then it's like, okay, I need to write something because I know they're going to like this. You know how we have journalists like those click and bait things, you know, so you can actually read something. You know. Is there anything people prefer to read more than other? Any kind of topics? You notice that? <laughs> people prefer more to see pictures and uh, scroll Instagram. That's what people love the most. So there's really uh, not so big type, big amount of people who is going to read it. But I want people who really are interested to have information they need. So I really didn't focus on a lot of people. I focus on the right people. I mean, people who need that information. And they'll, 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 um, people who, if they want to find something and they feel the need to read something, they need some kind of help, they'll figure it out. You don't have to be like, okay, I have to write that something so someone can like it. That you're doing something completely different, which is really nice. You know, it's I remember even before I was coming here, there's no information about anything. You know, you can Google anything these days, but it's not it's not easy. Like someone tells you in a simple words, this that this that you got to do this like that, and it's a lot of complications to different states. A lot of and every and experience any any mistake you have, it costs a lot of money, and it's just whatever. It's it's oh, yeah. it's, it's it's a lot. It's a lot of a lot of things. You know, and people sometimes you know here you get lost, you know, so you come here, you chase your dream, you chase your goals, you chase everything. So you're writing a blog called American Dream, American Sun. So what's American Dream for you? <laughs> I like that question. That's the question that I always ask other people, but nobody You're on the spot me. right now. You're on the spot right now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm kidding. So for me, American dream is to find the things you like and love and have them in your life. If you if you if you're doing a job and you don't like it, like you can have it for a really short amount of time and then change it. I don't wanna <laughs> I don't know how to tell you that. <laughs> like American dream for me is do whatever you want. So do whatever you want. Yes. That's... Not maybe not maybe not right now, but plan it. Plan it and Chase your dreams. But what's yours? <laughs> My dream is uh, to do what I want. <laughs> you have a lot of time okay. to do what you want because you know that, that here you can chase your dreams, but you realize that time is a precious, precious resource. You know, it, it, and it, it's hard to find time. So I ask you for you giving advice as you know writing blogs. So if you have a huge billboard somewhere on the side of the road. Will you have written on it for everyone to see when they're walking every day next to it or driving next to it? What would it be? You can do hard things. You can do hard things. Ooh, let me see. I love that. You, yes, you can. Yeah, you can. And you better. I think that's a, that's that's a crucial. You have to do it. And you realize, you know, if it's all if it's all good, you don't. It's just a flat line. You don't even know what bad is. And if, unless you have bad and bad moments, you don't appreciate the good ones. So in hard things, you know, they work more in the end. After you push through them, then easier thing comes. Like, oh my god, yeah, it was worth it. But I don't think like it should be bad. I shouldn't be bad. Like you can do good things that is hard. For example, I ran a race hmm? in February, in the end of February, and that was the best experience for me. Like when I when I done that, it was like. Oh my God, I really can do hard things because it was hard. It was really hard because I wasn't in a good shape and everything. And when I when I did that, it was like really like wow, what I feel can't do. Like, you feel, you yes, feel, you feel really, better. Really yes. Do you have any like, oh, sorry, go, 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 sorry. go ahead. Only only two months ago I, I couldn't do anything. Like and the six months before the race, I was in my bed like for uh, two weeks. So it's really like it really was a hard thing for me to accomplish. So you feel good about yourself, and if you feel good about yourself, you can do a lot of a lot, a lot of good things. Is there a hobby of yours? I mean, I don't call this. You're working so much on your on your blog. I don't think it's a. I can call it a hobby. But <laughs> is there any hobby that you have besides that that you like to do? No, there there isn't. Other That's your things. life and everything, and hobby and. <laughs> 
Yes, yes. I, I don't have so much different things than life and hobby. Like it's all, all in together. What are what are the plans for the where you see your blog going? What's the is there any where do you goal you're striving for? What do you where do you want to get with your blog? I really want to be a big platform for uh, with uh, a lot of different information that people ask for. And also I want to connect people. So my idea for this year was to have uh, meetings, like meetups with people all around the country because there are so many other people who reach out to me and want to drink a coffee or something. So my idea was really to do that. But I think I'm going to postpone it for uh, next year. But there's a lot of things to, to do. So... That's is there of, people want to what, what kind of topics what they want to discuss? You know, what is the they want to talk to you about? They just want to I don't know how to, they just want to connect. They want to you know reach out to people. They are usually people are lonely here. I mean, uh, if they live uh, only with Americans, they they don't have that opportunity to express themselves. And nobody understands you. It's de- definitely different cultural things. So. I just read uh, last this week about that. So I, I was uh, last week with my friends who is Americans. And for example, we were waiting uh, almost two hours so just to get a table. And I don't do that usually. But just because I was with them, I respect their decision to wait for it because, you know, they want it. They want that place and everything. But th- that's something that our people are not doing. No, no, you're not, you're not used to it. No, do you agree with me? Yeah, I completely agree. It's, it's a different thing. It's, it's, it's a lot of it's, it's a cultural difference, big big cultural difference. It is. It is. We we were I I don't know uh, when I was a kid, we were waiting for a bread and a milk in a in a <laughs> yeah it was, it was, it, was it, it was car time right now you know it, it's different you get used to that's you essential can, so you're gonna wait for something that is essential but not for like I don't know coffee or tea. Or yeah, it's normal like here. You, know, you book a table like four hours in advance, you can wait two hours just to, you know, just to sit somewhere <laughs> and have a drink yeah. or something like that. that that's a, it, it's, it's a big difference, you know. And what is it, uh, I asked you what advice you want to give to someone, but if someone's thinking about coming here, mm-hmm. what should they consider back home? What's the thing it's a crucial thing they should consider? Okay, ask yourself these questions. Are you ready for it or whatever? What do you think those questions should be? So usually people tell me like I have to come to America and I, all my life I dream about that. So I always tell them, okay, if that's your dream, come here and see it. But, you know, be ready, be ready. It's not everything like in the movie sometimes like it is, but be ready and know what you want. And after you realize that, uh, after you achieve that, think about that. <laughs> so that's it. Like pack yourself, pack, pack uh, the best version of yourself, come and see what's going to happen. And you come here, you know, how do, uh, when you encounter all these things here, you know, how do you get yourself on the right path? What do you think that's the uh, answer to that? You know, how are you trying to get yourself set to do the right thing? Whew, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm doing the right thing. I just like doing what I can so, in this yeah, moment. So, you should do what you can. That's that's also you know focus focus. I'm doing my best. Be yeah. focused. A lot of people you get you get lost. I always spoke about that. You know you get lost. You know these things. It's a lot of things happening. A lot of you know. So sometimes I'm like I'm a kid in candy store. It's a million things happening, and you want to do this, this you want to do that, and then time flies. You know you got to be focused on certain things, especially because it's a lot a lot of things you got to learn. A lot of things can happen, and time flies really really fast. Versus sometimes I feel time. It's slower in Serbia than here. You know, here years pass by so fast; it, it's unbelievable. You know, so, and I mean, before we wrap everything up, him, is there anything else you want to add? Something we missed? Something you want to share with everyone? Something? Something? I'll let you have the stage <laughs> right now. I just want to add that on a time lapse that you that you mentioned. So, here, everything you you have so many opportunities, like every day. And back home, it's not like that. So maybe that's the thing why why you feel like time stops back home and here it's not. That's it's more opportunities, yeah. It's more and more things. Yeah. And you want to try this, you want to try that. You know, somehow you think opportunities are limited back home. Here you realize it's everything. You know, you can you can do whatever whatever you like. That's just a, think that's about just think about sorry, just think about if you go to Starbucks 
there's so much <laughs> to choose from. So uh, do you want the, 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 this coffee? Do you want it cold? Do you want it hot? Do you want in the middle? <laughs> Something like that. So it's really like so many things. I always I always mention that uh, thing with shampoo, like for example, why I started blog. So I want to tell you <laughs> which shampoo is right. Not because I know your hair, it is because I bought so many before this. So I know they are not good, and they're usually the same price, but the bottle is of 500 milliliters. So you have to wash your hair so many times before you buy a new one, right? Or you, you're not. You're just not gonna throw it away, you know, it's a couple of dollars yes. every time until you get the right one. <laughs> so I just want to help you with that. Like here is your shortcut. This is good for me, so try that. And if it doesn't work for you, try others, but don't these. But you're saying like someone, you know, it's like 20, 30 different things. You know, it's you have to. You know, sometimes, sometimes I don't know what to get. Sometimes I'm getting the same things all the time. I'm like, who's yeah. gonna try all this? And you know, if I get it and then I get home, you get something that you just like, oh my god, this is. I was messing around with pickles. Let's so say you buy pickles here. Oh my you know, god! Pickles are in <laughs> surveys. Pickles, from type of pickles here. <laughs> there you go to shelf. There's like 45 different kinds, different sizes, different cuts. You know, to uh, chop, slice. I don't even know the different. And they're different flavors, and the regular ones are so hard to find. Sometimes like every t- every time it takes me at least five minutes to find the right ones. A couple Ooh, times I'm buying good. because I, I'm <laughs> buying I'm like seriously. So sometimes I'm buying I'm buying the wrong ones by accident. Sometimes there is it's just unbelievable. And there's some I don't even know what kind of flavors they are. It's and it's a lot of things. So I was like get the right thing. And I mean that, that's great. You, you got an idea for that, and you 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 can spend a lot of time just researching all that. And if someone just narrows that time, okay, what do I need to get? Let me see if this girl, this blog knows, knows all this. Let, let me, ch- let me check this. Let me, you know, let me uh, get advice from someone. You know, we, we friends, sometimes, you know, they know a limited amount of things, especially if they are friends. They probably know a little bit more than you if you hang out with them all the time, you know, but if you yeah. got need outside information, it, it's, it's, it's really, it's really difficult, you know? So uh, where can people find you? Everywhere. <laughs> I am everywhere. <laughs> so on the blog, like www.blogamerichkisan.com. I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I'm now on TikTok. <laughs> and a couple of days ago, I actually uh, started my uh, YouTube channel. So I'm everywhere. <laughs> so good, I'm you're also good. All around. I mean, that's good. I mean, you have, to have, you have to be exposed. You have to let people, you know, some people use the different platforms. You got to be out there so for them to see you're expanding. So it's great. So definitely, I mean, it was a pleasure doing this and great talking to you. We have fun. And I mean, a lot of people should definitely check check you out and check your blog out. And hopefully we do this thing soon or again, we'll sooner. We'll figure it out. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. All right. Thank you so much. Thanks everyone for watching. Please subscribe. Thank you. And I also again. Thank you so much for having me.